In the previous video, I showed you how you can use a gradient map to match skin colors. In this video, I will share a different technique using a LUT adjustment. We're going to copy the skin colors from the left image to the right image. I already applied a curves adjustment on the right image to match a similar brightness as the left image. Next, I will use the marquee selection tool and select the face area from the source image. I need a pixel copy of the selected area. I have a micro to make a copy of the selected area. If you're interested in the selection macros, I'll put a link to the description explaining these macros. Now that I have a copy of the face, I'm going to copy this layer and from the file menu I will use the new from clipboard menu to create a new document with the face only. The idea is now that we generate two versions of the face which we can use to apply an infrared. Sounds complicated but it will make sense in a minute. So let's go. First we need a white fill layer which we can easily create by using the layer new fill layer menu. If the added layer is not white make sure to change the color to white. This fill layer is just a placeholder for a group we are going to create. For this reason I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply which basically hides this fill layer. Then I'm going to add a brightness and contrast adjustment. This adjustment currently has no use but it will come in handy later. The next adjustment we need is a gradient map adjustment. I'm just going to keep the default colors but will change the blend melt to color. In this case we get a greenish look but I will go for a cyan look. To get the cyan look I will add a fill layer on top. Change the color to cyan with a luminosity around 75%. When we change the blend mode of this fill layer to color, we get a nice cyan look. Before moving on, I will change the blend range of the cyan fill so it will not affect the shadows below, resulting in a cyan and green look. As a final adjustment, we are going to add the LUT adjustment. We are going to use this in a second. Now select all the layers we added and group them. With the group enabled, time to export it. I will name this one. After the export, let's disable the group and export again, but this time with the file name set to two. We're almost done. Let's open up the group and open the LUT adjustment. In the dialog, choose Infrared. This will open up a file dialog and we are going to use file one. It will then ask for a second file and as you guessed, we are going to use file two this time. The infrared function creates a LUT or in other words a color mapping where the colors from the first file will be mapped to the second file, which has the result that we now have a color mapping of our green cyan skin to regular skin colors. I can now copy this group and switch back to the original file. Let's first remove the copied face layer and paste the copied group just above the curves adjustment. Of course we need to mask this group to the skin. I have a saved selection which I will apply quickly and there we have it. Pretty awesome. To finish up and to make it look amazing, first thing we can do is to adjust the blend range of the group and remove the effect from the shadows, creating a much more natural blend. Remember we added the brightness and contrast adjustment to the group? Well now let's open the group and make some changes there. By modifying the brightness and the contrast we can really control how much of the skin tone and brightness is being applied. Pretty cool. I think this looks about right. As I also showed in the previous video, let's add a color balance adjustment on top of the group and modify the midtones to contain a bit more yellow and red, which makes the image nice and warm like the source image. Here is the before and here is the after. That looks pretty amazing. To really finish things up we can do a bit of dodging. For this I'm going to add a fill layer and set the color of the fill layer to black, followed by adding a mask to it. Actually I need an inverted mask, so with the mask selected I can use the invert menu from the layer menu and we have a black mask now, basically blocking the black fill layer. 
Let's now make sure that the fill layer is selected and change the blend mode to soft light. Time to do some dodging. First select the mask of the fill layer, then select the brush and make sure we have a low flow value. Before brushing, let's also not forget to set the brush color to white. We can now paint on the areas we want to darken, usually around the eyes and the shadow areas. The effect will be way too much, as we used black in soft light blend mode. But we can adjust the color of the fill layer to adjust it to our needs. I can switch back to the mask and the brush tool to finalize the look. So to wrap up, here is the before and here is the after. Pretty awesome. By the way, here's a quick tip before leaving you. You can either create a macro or create an asset which can do all the steps with one click. For example, I have this asset and I can just drop it on the face image. I will now only need the two exports and apply the infrared. By the way, as you might have noticed, my asset is using blue as the main color instead of green. But if I replace the gradient map with a default gradient map, you can see it becomes green and cyan. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until the next video.